Welcome back everybody to the Hidden Gamer Channel with Democracy Free UK Edition. I am Jay and I am your host today. Well, we moved on into year 6 after our triumphant re-election and if you'll notice over in the economy section you'll notice the distinct lack of any, uh, how we say, red events. Yep, that is right everybody. The Uncompetitive economy is now at an end. That is one of our election promises fulfilled. Woohoo! Look at that GDP rise. Hold on. Look at that. Look at the, look at the steady growth. Look at the housing expansion. Uh, let's have a look at this. <coughs> uh, get my throat. There is a shortage of homes in our country, and the government is under pressure to relax plan laws and allow previously restricted green belt land to be built on. Oh god, this is a issue in the UK at the moment, actually. So do we relax plan law? House prices are rising far faster than earnings, which is true, due mainly to the shortage of supply. Again, this is true. In the long term, the only solution is to build more housing. Again, that is very true. There's no good providing housing where there are no jobs. Exactly, that is the point. Because there isn't... If there's no jobs, no one's going to want to move there, because that means they'll have to commute. Which, in my area, that is actually a growing concern. Then again, that's why the land value is so cheap as well, so you've got to consider both sides of the coin. Now, if that means building on a small proportion of green belt land, then that's the price we have to pay. Or we keep the plan description, there's always pressure to build new homes on greenfield sites, because housing can be find it cheaper and easier to build on them. There are plenty of urban sites that should be reused before the results of calming up the countryside. A sudden expansion into the green belt would have a dreadful impact on the rural communities. Huh. I live in the rural area myself, and I don't agree with this argument. I'd say an expansion would be good, because it would bring infrastructure and that to these rural areas. I mean, currently where I live, there's barely any infrastructure, as it is. So... I would say it'd be better to relax them, and I believe it'll make the environmentalists less happy, but the capitalists happy, so I'm going to relax the plan more. It's probably the wrong decision, and look at that surplus, 42,000. Core blimey. Our economy couldn't be doing any better at all. Which, I am now going to go back, and I'm going to look at the state healthcare. And I want to get rid of this doctor's strike, so... If I raise it so we get, like... There we go, doink! Just raise that up a bit, and I might raise a tax or something to, uh... Help with that. Um, state housing... No. Yeah, asthma. That's going to be an issue now. The GDP is uh, picking up. Uh, pollution controls. The only thing I can think of is up raising these. CO2 emissions will be going down anyway for this. And car usage. Let's get this down as well, which means I need going to transport and I need to. this one. Yeah. Oh, the environment, 22%. Oh, I should have done this earlier. I forgot about this one. Car emissions it limits. Reduces car use, reduces CO2 emissions, and reduces the motorist income, unfortunately. But took the motorists. The motorists here. I have a lot of them, so, yeah. Look at the cabinet. Look at that. Well, you're not as happy liberal capitalists. Well, capitalists are getting happier, so you're actually going to be quite good in a minute, aren't you? I don't get what this is. Cyn cynicism. I don't get it, to be honest. Income tax. I'll be messing around with some taxes or something in the future, I'm thinking. Yep, look at that. Hell's in attention, yep. And if the economy keeps growing, this will be very good for us. Hmm. <laughs> I might raise this as well, actually. Piss off the liberals, though, that's the issue. I don't want to do that. No, I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. Move on to the next part of year six. Move on three months. 
Oh. Just when I was talking about housing, I relaxed the planning laws. A lack accomplished by mortgage lenders has resulted in a rise in interest rates for home buyers. This will cause a drop in income and no doubt confidence amongst the home owning middle classes, and in some cases may cause repossessions and homelessness. So the middle income are less happy with me, they have less income and they're homeless. And the credit rating has been upgraded again. And look at that surplus. Poor blimey. And look at these stats. Look at these stats rising. That is incredible. But look at the middle income. They really do not like me because of that. Uh, income tax. It's a concern. It's a growing concern, that is. Oh, look at the Dr. Strike. Dr. Strike will be going away next turn. That'll be my other promise. Going away so soon. It's incredible. Alright, this will take some time to kick in. Mm, I want to get car usage down. That's what we need to do, is get car usage to go down. So, I'm going to go for transport. Three bus passes. Directly impact bus usage. Position you know, to go car tax. That's not really a popular move, really. That's not popular. Enterprise investment. I don't need any more investment in the economy at the moment. Gambling? I'm tempted to go for gambling. No! <coughs> How about no? The Bamber group are going away. Seems quite good. We're, quite getting, we're getting everyone happy again with our uh, government. Yeah, why not? Yeah, the catalysts don't like it. Nah, nah, happens. They'll be getting happier again on the GDP picking up. Look at that. Look at the GDP picking up. As the GDP picks up, they'll get happier. So it doesn't really matter, does it, to me? Hmm. Daily communities. Uh, I'm not sure about that policy, to be honest. Organ donation. Think. Universal. <laughs> Everyone, when they die, must donate all of their organs. It is not opt. You can not opt out of this. It will raise health by ten percent. And religious hate. But religious. Come on, let's be honest. Look at their membership. It's going to be gone. Probably by the end of my second term. Actually, now I think about it. School vouchers. Now these are more for the capitalist sort of playthroughs. And I might be doing that when I play as the US. I'm thinking of playing the US next. And I'm, I'm gonna raise this. The liberals will hate me for that. But the Patriots will love me. Where are the Patriots? Patriots are there, but we haven't got many of them, have we? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, immigration to foreign relations. Hmm. CO2 emissions are on the rise, which means they're going to tax some more. Drop the GDP a bit more. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it. Um, international uh, racial tension. Immigration, there it is. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to need to go to the border. I'm going to need to do border control. Armed guards just to drop immigration down another twenty percent because oh insufficient. Ah, I have to do it next turn. Okay. Those middle income are not happy with me at all. I could drop my tax actually. But let's have a look. Yeah, I could drop it. Yeah, I'll drop it by thirty percent to thirty-two thirty percent, and that will improve their uh, standing on me. So next turn. Moving on. The doctor's strike is at an end! Woo! The health workers strike has been called off the doctors have returned to work. And budget ban same time. Until recently this hasn't been an issue. Marriage has been a straightforward issue and a ceremony reserved for heterosexual couples, but increasingly the more liberal ministers have been carrying out same sex marriages. Should we balance at a constitutional level? Do we ban it? It's crazy to allow this travesty of a religious ceremony to take place, but standing by and doing nothing, we are slightly condoning the practice. 
The church will be outraged if we don't move quickly to put a stop to this. <coughs> or do we allow the marriages? There are no good reasons to ban such marriages. It's no business of the state to interfere in the relationships between loving couples regardless of their gender. Placing a ban on the kinds of relationships our citizens can form is an unforgivable intrusion into people's private lives. Well, as a as I'm a part of a homo I'm a homosexual couple myself, I am going to allow the marriages. <coughs> Simple. Look at that, 98% of the vote still. That's impressive. And they'll be getting happier in a minute. And look, we're still maintaining the surplus even after the uh, tax reduction I just did. <laughs> Racial pro Oh my god, I don't like I don't like these. Oh, private prisons. Capitalists love it. And the liberals do, provided they are adequately funded. And goes down and employment goes down. Makes the capitalists happy, which I am for, because right now I need the capitalists to be as happy with me as they can. Gated communities. Yeah, the wealthy don't really care much. No. Nah. Okay. Let me have a look. I mean, got these two turns left. Yeah, got two turns. I'm trying to decide. This I know encourages car usage. I don't want to do it at the moment. Ugh, capitalists hate that. Capitalists hate that. I'm tempted to do this. If I remember correctly, it helps foreign relations. It does. Capitalists don't like it. I don't know why. But we, we're going to build a pu puppet show. <laughs> no. Circuses. No. Low budget movie. No. Theatres. Art gallery. We're going to build an opera house in London to promote. It's going to be the 20... I'm trying to think. It'll be like the 2017 Opera House. The 2017 Opera Event. Because <laughs> why not? Foreign relations will go up. Tourism will go up. Education will go up. More people will become liberals. Unemployment goes down. Capitalists don't like it. Don't know why. I mean, come on. If they're... I guess it's because they're not profiting off of it. Work safety... No. I don't want to go for that, actually. Do you look at the uh, unemployment? No, the working week. Crop, blimey. Yeah. I want to lean more towards the union because I need to get that. I don't want to mess with the productivity at the moment. Technological mileage is good though. Where's our productivity? There it is. We could have high. Nice technology. Uh, productivity. Where's productivity? Is that it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that'd be climbing in a bit, won't it? Plastic bag tax, that's capitalists. Capitalists don't like We've got that in the UK at the moment. I mean, it's like 5p, it's 5 pence or so for a pla each plastic bag. Let's look at the asthma. Uh, hopefully, some of that stuff we're putting in will kick in and help. One party state. Congratulations, you've all but banished the thoughts, thoughts of any other political parties from the minds of the electorate, reducing other polit politicians to mere has beens. Nice and oh. We have pollution. That means the GDP is getting too high. Yeah, yeah, I knew as much. Oh dear. Software patterns. Um, <clears throat> I've seen this event before. Software patterns are a form of intellectual property law that allows companies to protect algorithms, digital pieces of computer code, that implement a new technology such as a new type of translation software or system for purchasing online. They're generally popular with big business, but unpopular with those who fight for a free internet and those who think the patterns are far too general to stifle innovation. Do we allow them or do we reject them? <laughs> <coughs> big business protectionism. So this tells me allowing them will be beneficial for the uh, capitalists. I'm going to reject them because I don't agree with that because there's so, many stuff, so much stuff is based on the same thing. It's just, yeah. The environment. It's the GDP that's doing it. And car usage. Car usage should be coming down. And stuff kicks in. The bus usage becomes more prevalent. Nah. Well, if you reduce oil demand, it doesn't help the environment. Okay, never mind. But it helps farmers, and it makes them happier. 
Uh, consumer rates, toll rates, fuel efficiency, no. Imports, no. National set, no. Rent controls, no. Disability benefit. Catholics hate it. Meh, don't care. I, I want to do it, so I'm going to do it. Right, let's have a look at the thing what we've got and twiddle around with some of it then. Road building. No, I don't want to do road building because it increases car usage. Rail substitute. That's what I can mess around with. Give them a cash infusion of like 7,000. Rail usage will go up. Yeah, do it. You do it. And. Because I need to get my environment better. The only thing I can think of after this is sacrificing the GDP. The food price crisis. Global demand and overseas production falls. Stop booing! Production falls, resulting in a massive spike in food prices. This will obviously affect the poorest in our society the most, although it might also prevent those citizens of ours who eat too much from continuing to expand their waistline. Ouch. <laughs> so, beast helps. Uh, small surplus. The only way I can see getting out of this is by hurting the GDP. That's the only way I can s Oh, hang on. It's going back down, though. Some stuff is kicking back in. Some stuff is kicking in, so that's good. Maybe, just maybe, you might be able to pull it through. But I'm going to get some of the in-game stuff. I'm going to start going through some stuff. Are you all drilling? No, I don't want to tax this. We haven't got the money to go messing around with that sort of stuff yet. <sighs> I might increase this one actually. Yeah, increase this one to about 50%, which will hurt the GDP by 7%, which might actually help. CO2 emissions will go down. Everyone hates it. Air travel will go down. Capitalists will not like it, but. It's the only way I can see. It will help raise, mon raise money, and it will also curb the issue we're having. Liberal, how much of it? There. Oh, they're really, uh, really happy with me. I think that happy. Yeah, they're very loyal. I can raise the uh, military spending to overwhelming force, which is so not relevant to what it is in the UK at the moment. And also, we haven't even touched on it yet. Education, shared textbooks. No, we're not going to do stage textbooks. Oh god. Mm, we want to go at least up to student laptops. Yeah, I'm going to increase that. Probably a big mistake. I'll probably have to reduce it again. But I'm fine. My my spending just goes through the floor. <laughs> but that will be it for this episode. Religious membership is almost completely gone, look at that, 4%. So we've almost got rid of all the religious. So, in this episode, we have managed to get rid of both the uncompetitive economy and the Doctor's Strike, which are the two promises that I pledged in my election speech that we would deal with. But in its place, we have still got this asthma epidemic, and we have developed pollution due to our skyrocketing GDP. So, in the next episode, I'm going to have to try and get the, the environment to turn around without sacrificing the GDP too much. Can I do it? Well, we'll have to find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.